Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 10th of December. I'm James Spann. Uh, a wet morning, a cold afternoon, a strong cold front passing through. A lot of things going on, so let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured around 445, and that's the uh, Tuscaloosa sky cam, rain falling there. As the uh, storms came through there, the peak winds only about 20 to 25 miles an hour. Uh, similar setup in Jasper. They've got uh, light rain there. The heaviest rain has ended, and rain is still falling in downtown Fayette up in northwest Alabama. Big trough forming over the central United States. Now, the axis of that trough is going to stay west of Alabama for a couple of days, uh, but the cold front's going to come on through this morning as it is now, and you can see the uh, big thermal contrast. Uh, back in the cold air, temperatures are about uh, as cold as what? Uh, 10 below zero with a big snow cover up there. They had a blizzard in Minnesota and parts of South Dakota yesterday. And uh, back behind the front, you've got Memphis in the 40s. And I think we will be in the 40s this afternoon. Temperatures today going the wrong way. Now, there's the radar. This was captured at 458. And literally a few minutes before this, there was major storm damage in North Birmingham up around Finley Avenue. Uh, reports of three homes with major damage and roofs off. Uh, a report of the roof off at Motion Industries and a report of the roof off at the Farmer's Market on Finley. And again, the radar at that point had no clear evidence of any severe weather. We've had no reports of any severe weather until that. And that's a reminder, as we have said how many times here, when it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. Uh, it could have been a small spin-up tornado that lasted for maybe 30 seconds or a minute or two. Uh, we're all looking at the data, and there is one little spot where we were, saw evidence of rotation in through there, but that's not a complete analysis. We'll have a report on that later today. But other than that, the severe weather risk is relatively low. There is a slight risk for much of north and central Alabama through the morning hours, but of course, as the front moves on through, that risk will be ending and the cold air takes over. Uh, watch warning map around the nation. Uh, some wind chill advisories. The counties in the light blue up north for bitterly cold wind chills. Uh, some fog issues off to the east. But the big blizzard up in the upper Midwest, that, uh, that thing is spinning down this morning. Uh, the rain for the next five days valid through Friday evening at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting rain amounts of uh, over one inch for much of North Alabama this morning. And again, uh, we'll get the final totals later today. I think one half to one inch is probably a good number for most of us along the Interstate 2059 corridors. We'll go through this. This is the 06Z GFS, the global forecast system at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Troughing developing over the central United States. We've still got a southwest flow aloft. Here comes the front. The, the, the weight of the cold air is going to push that front through today. In fact, look at the projected temperatures at 3 o'clock central time this afternoon. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out the position of that front. You've got 70s uh, in Montgomery and 40s from Birmingham north. Uh, so an amazingly sharp front, uh, uh, which can happen this time of the year. But clearly, temperatures will be falling today. In fact, up in Tennessee, they might have a hard time getting out of the 30s this afternoon, north of Interstate 40. Tomorrow, there's the deal. The trough axis is still west of here. We've still got a southwest flow aloft, and while tomorrow should be dry, I'm not totally convinced it's going to be a sunny day. Uh, that, that is a pattern where clouds can form. Uh, I guess we'll say a mixture of clouds and sunshine, and the, the, the air is cold, but it's fairly shallow. Uh, we won't get out of the 40s. The uh, GFS is showing a high of 48, so a cold and dry day tomorrow. Wednesday, the trough is swinging through here, and that's going to squeeze out some rain on the Gulf Coast and down there in southeast Alabama. Places like Dothan and Abbeville and Geneva, they could see some rain on Wednesday, but up here, uh, we should be in dry air, so we think the day will be dry. We'll start the day around freezing. The high should be around 50, uh, but clouds will increase as you go farther south. And then Thursday, everybody's in dry air. Thursday should be a cool, dry day. We'll start the day again near the freezing mark. The high should be in the middle 50s. And then Friday, we'll make the push towards 60, and the sky will stay sunny. All right, for the weekend, this is Saturday. We've got a 588 warm ridge over the southern Gulf. Uh, fairly fast flow here. A little energy showing up, and a new surface low begins to spin up near uh, Wichita, Kansas. 
And that will likely uh, bring showers and maybe some storms to parts of Arkansas, Mississippi, and western Tennessee. And that could ease in here later in the day, Saturday and Saturday night. So we'll mention that chance of showers, maybe some thunder. Uh, late Saturday and Saturday night. And then Sunday, a cold front comes in with a pretty deep surface low to the north. Uh, Severe weather potential, I'd say, is fairly low with this, but as always, this time of the year, you have to watch those. Uh, Highs for the weekend should be around 60. The air is going to be pretty stable, so that's the reason we don't expect any severe weather. And then a week from today looks uh, uh, colder and dry. Uh, Pretty good north wind. The high may be around 50. Uh, And again, uh, temperatures below average there. All right. Hey, we're getting close to Christmas. Let's get out there and take a look and see what might happen. Models are all over the board on when cold shots come in here. Timing's going to be very hard to deal with. This is December 22nd. A uh, very strong trough north and west of the state. And this is suggesting kind of a stormy look here around December 22nd. And then on Christmas Day, a very deep trough over the central and western states and a fairly cold air mass uh, deep into Texas. Cold front coming in here, and if this happens to be correct, and we all know this is voodoo, Christmas Day could be wet, and then following that, we have a cold shot. But again, timing out the rains, the cold shots, it's just impossible to do in this kind of pattern this far in advance. Just for the fun of it, there's a look at the projected snow depth at noon on Christmas Day. Looking for a white Christmas? Eh, well, how about... uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Duluth, Minnesota. Yeah, you know the typical suspects. Uh, uh, always the odds of a white Christmas are tiny. And keep in mind, we had one two years ago, and for many cities, that was the first white Christmas on record. And weather records here go back to the late 1800s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. 